The Galaxy Z Flip 7 is shaping up to be one of Samsung's most intriguing foldables yet, and not just because of its sleek design or updated features. This time, the spotlight is shining on what's under the hood, the long-rumored Exynos 2500 chip. That's right. After months of speculation and setbacks, fresh reports now suggest that the Galaxy Z Flip 7 will be powered by Samsung's own DecaCore Exynos 2500 processor in several key markets. Back in February, Samsung faced a major hurdle. Due to poor yield issues with its 3 nanometers chip production, the company was forced to abandon its initial plans of equipping the Galaxy S25 series with the Exynos 2500. Instead, Samsung went all in on Qualcomm's more expensive Snapdragon 8 Elite for Galaxy chip across every S25 variant. At that point, many assumed the Exynos 2500 was shelved, at least for Samsung's flagship devices. But now the tables seem to be turning. A newly surfaced report confirms that Samsung hasn't given up on its in-house silicon just yet. In fact, the Exynos 2500 is expected to make its debut inside the Galaxy Z Flip 7 in markets like South Korea and India. This marks a historic shift, as it's the first time any model in the Galaxy Z series, whether Fold or Flip, will feature an Exynos processor instead of Qualcomm's Snapdragon. Now, let's break down what we know about this much-talked-about Chip the Exynos 2500 with model number S5E9955 is being developed by Samsung's in-house chip design team and is built on the company's second-generation 3NMR process node. That's a step forward in terms of both performance and energy efficiency, on paper at least. One major standout feature of the Exynos 2500 is its DecaCore CPU configuration. We're talking about 10 powerful cores working together to deliver top-tier performance. Here's the rumored breakdown of those 10 cores. One Cortex-X925 Prime Core clocked at up to 3.3 GHz for the heaviest tasks. Two Cortex-A725 high-efficiency cores running up to 2.75 GHz. Five more Cortex-A725 cores running slightly lower at 2.36 GHz and two Cortex-A520 efficiency cores for lightweight background tasks, operating at 180 GHz. Together, this setup promises a strong balance between raw power and power efficiency, something Samsung has long struggled to master with previous Exynos chips. But that's not all. The Exynos 2500 will also feature the new Xclipse 950 GPU, which is based on AMD's RDNA 3.5 graphics architecture. This is expected to give a noticeable boost in gaming and graphical performance, especially compared to older Exynos models. Add to that 16 embalers of L3 cache, and you're looking at faster app launches and smoother multitasking, which are key for any premium foldable. However, it's important to address the elephant in the room, the history of Exynos. For years, Exynos, chips have been seen as the weaker sibling to Snapdragon. Users have complained about overheating, lag, and even connectivity issues with the modem. But Samsung seems determined to rewrite that narrative with the Exynos 2500. Now let's talk about the bigger picture, how the Galaxy Z Flip 7 might stand up to the competition. According to the latest leaks, the Flip 7 is also expected to get a bump in battery life. Samsung may increase the battery capacity by 7.5%, from 4,000 mAh on the Flip 6 to a more respectable 4,300 mAh. That's a good move, especially considering the battery demands of a foldable phone paired with a high-performance processor. But Samsung isn't the only one stepping up its game in the foldable space. This year, Motorola is coming in hot with the Razer Ultra 2025, also known internationally as the Razer 60 Ultra, it features the Snapdragon 8 Elite AP and a massive 4700 mAh battery, giving it a clear edge on paper when it comes to endurance and performance. So where does that leave the Galaxy Z Flip 7? With the new Exynos 2500, Samsung seems to be betting big on reclaiming control of its chip development and proving that it can compete head-to-head -head with Qualcomm. If the chip performs as expected, we could finally see an Exynos-powered device that lives up to the hype. And with a larger battery upgraded GPU and advanced CPU architecture, the Flip 7 might just be the first foldable where Exynos doesn't feel like a compromise. Of course, real-world performance will be the true test, 
and we'll have to wait for the official launch to see whether the Exynos 2500 can silence the critics and give the Galaxy Z Flip 7 a meaningful edge. Or if it's just another chapter in the long-running saga of Exynos vs. Snapdragon. 1. Things for sure, this summer's foldable battle is going to be very interesting.